Live, the campaign to pass a same-sex marriage amendment in Ohio picked up support today with the addition of Josh and Stephen Snyder, Snyder Hill, to its organizing committee. As NBC4 reporter Ted Hart explains, Stephen Snyder Hill gained national attention two years ago when he went public with his sexuality on national television. Now, the Ohio Freedom to Marry campaign is still collecting signatures on petitions hoping to put a proposal before voters yet this year that would change the definition of marriage from being a union between one man and one woman to being a union of two consenting adults. Today, a major in the U.S. Army joined their cause. Two years ago, Stephen Hill revealed to the world that he is gay. He did so by posing a question during a presidential primary debate. In 2010, when I was deployed to Iraq, I had to lie about who I was because I'm a gay soldier, and I didn't want to lose my job. What really catapulted his fame was that some in the audience that night booed. My question is, under one of your presidencies, do you intend to circumvent the progress that's been made for gay and lesbian soldiers in the military? Yeah, I, I, I would say any type of sexual activity has absolutely no place in the military. I thought that the question needed to be asked. Stephen and his partner, Josh Snyder, had traveled to Washington, D.C. a year earlier to be married. The instant fame, though, was overwhelming. And then it got to a point where you typed in the word gay on Google and we popped up. <laughs> the two were introduced today as co-chairs of the steering committee for the Freedom to Marry initiative. If you're going to be in a fight, if you're going to be in a battle, if you're going to be in a campaign, these are two men that I want to have with us. And they have been tested. Stephen says after coming out, he received nothing but support from the military, the soldiers under his command, and the public. One of the things we always tell people is that if you want to change the way it is, you just need to tell your story. And that's what we do. We just tell our story. The campaign would not say how many signatures have been collected so far, but said that they will have enough to get on the ballot this fall if that's what they ultimately decide to do. A Quinnipiac poll late last year showed 45 percent of Ohioans were in favor of legalizing same-sex marriage, while 47 percent were opposed. That was within a difference within the poll's margin of error. In the newsroom, Ted Hart, NBC4. All right, Ted, thanks.